Hi everyone, today we'll tell you how to play Noble Run, a game recommended for ages 10 and over for two to four players with an approximate duration of 30 minutes. The goal in the game is to manage a research team to win the Noble Prize. Setup. To start playing, first take your deck of seven cards and place it face down in front of you. Then, form the card pool creating two rows of five cards, one of them with basic cards and the other one with advanced cards. Next to them, place the corresponding decks face up. Once you've decided who will be the starting player, you're ready to go. Turn structure. At the beginning of the turn, draw five cards from your deck. Then, you can use your cards to perform the following actions. 1. Draw new cards from the pool. Use the cards in your hand to get one or more cards from the pool. The cost of each card is indicated in their corner. Place the used and acquired cards in your discard pile. If the acquired card is a paper, it is placed face up in your curriculum vitae zone. These cards are the ones that will grant you prestige points at the end of the game. When you acquire a new card from the stock, you have to replenish the row with a card from the corresponding deck. To acquire the top card of the deck, you must first discard any card from your hand before spending the card resources. 2. Publish a card to your curriculum vitae. Once per turn, you can send one of the cards in your hand to your curriculum vitae. This icon shows the effects caused by publishing a card to the curriculum vitae. Most of them just grant you prestige points. Others instead grant you extra resources you can use during this turn. For example, if you discard this card, you'll receive three units of money. However, if you publish it to your curriculum vitae, you'll receive four units of effort. The cards in the curriculum vitae don't come back into play. At the end of the turn, you may discard any card in your hand or keep the ones you want. Then, draw cards from your deck until you have five in your hand. If necessary, shuffle the discard pile to make a new deck. End of the game. When someone gets 20 or more points in their curriculum vitae, play until the end of the round. Once done, the winner will be the player who has more prestige points. In case of a tie, the winners are the players who tied. Special Cards Some cards show negative resources. These cards are used during your opponent's turn. If you decide to use their normal effect, your opponent will have to discard one or more cards from their hand to match the negative resources of the card. If they don't have enough, they will discard all resources they have of that same type. If you decide to use their publishing effect, you'll place the card in front of your opponent's curriculum vitae and they won't be able to acquire cards from the pool that ask for that resource until they discard from their hand the number of resources indicated on the card. Cards that subtract prestige are played directly on your opponent's curriculum vitae. Two cards have effects on the hand. Sally Kristen Ride allows you to draw two cards when you discard it. Dona Strickland allows you to blindly choose a card of your opponent to discard and make them play their turn with one less card. And so much for Noble Run Video, a fun and simple game in which we'll have the help of top scientists and inventors in our race for the Nobel Prize.